Hello and welcome. So today uh, I want, want to continue looking at uh, running transformers on an M1 Mac Mini. So let's get over to the desktop and let's see what's going on. Uh, right now, I've just finished running this uh, generate text.py, and this is using, I think, a 1.3 billion parameter model. And the question was, well, here's the prompt. Albert Einstein was. That was my prompt. And he comes back and says, a philosopher, a mathematician, a physicist, a cosmologist, a scientist, at his death, all of his work was dispersed into various archives and has never been fully recovered. His most famous work is the theory of relativity, which has been the subject of many investigations. His theory is one of the most significant discoveries in the history of science used for many purposes, notably in quantum theory, the theories of quantum physics, blah, 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 astrophysics. So this all looks pretty good. Uh, I don't see anything in here that's particularly crazy. Nothing's being repeated over and over again. So I would say this is pretty successful. And we see this took 158 seconds. So uh, that's less than three minutes to come back with this text generation. Now, I don't think that's that bad. Uh, of course, I would like it to come back faster. Uh, I have been looking for, uh, I've been looking for some, some, some time stats on uh, how long these various models take for inference. So far, this, this one is, uh, is pretty good. I was also able to get the 2.7 billion parameter model running. Uh, let's see. So these, I think, are all the text generation models. And uh, so this one here, this uh, 6 billion one, uh, it didn't crash, but after about 20 minutes, I just stopped it myself because it wasn't giving me a result, uh, and swap grew quite large. Uh, I also was not able to get their, their 20 billion, which makes sense if you can't get the 6 billion running, but I tried the 20 billion. It did download it. Uh, it did load it up into memory, and then it gave me a segmentation fault. So uh, it's just too much, uh, too much to handle. Uh, so these models, this 6 billion model, uh, I think was almost 40 gigabytes uh, in size. So when you see the number of parameters, it, it doesn't tell you what the size of the, uh, the model is. So this is the one that's running now, the 1.3 billion. I was also able to get the 2.7 billion uh, parameter model to run. And I don't think that the result was as good as with the 1.3 billion. So there are some differences in training, but uh, I think that's, that's pretty amazing that this uh, 2.7 billion parameter model will run. Uh, I think this was uh, around 24 gigabytes. Uh, I think I still have it on the system here. Let me pull up the, the cache. So these, if I go into my home directory here, and then into uh, dot cache, and then into hugging face, and then down into transformers. By the way, this is where the, uh, the config.yaml file 
is stored for accelerating that chooses either the, uh, uh, the run on metal or on the CPUs. So here are the transformers, make this larger, and uh, we can see here's the here's the six gigabyte one. It's twenty four gigabytes in size, and then uh, maybe this is the uh, the one point three gigabyte model. I'm not sure. Uh, then some of the larger models actually get broken up into pieces. Uh, so it's good to know where this stuff is because you probably want to delete a bunch of stuff. And uh, probably the safest way to do that is by date. So uh, if you load a bunch of models, then you don't want them anymore, uh, you can get rid of them. Uh, it's unfortunate that the names aren't uh, <clears throat> aren't meaningful, it would make uh, managing all these models a little easier. Uh, it may be that the documentation uh, will say something about the model names. I don't know, I haven't looked for that yet. But uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty good. And uh, if I go into the file here, it's very simple. There's, there's not much to this. This is it. This is the entire file that runs this. It, it downloads the uh, model. And uh, what we're putting into it here is this here. Now, the question is, is there a way for me to keep this up in memory? so that when I run it the next time, you'll see here, uh, oh, here's the 6 billion. Uh, I think I put the 2.7 billion in another, in its own file. That's why we're not seeing it here. Here. Um, so if we run this, It takes, a, it takes a while, uh, and there may be a way to run this so that uh, the model stays active and I can just continue to feed prompts into it. Uh, now, it's probably going to come back with some nutty stuff now because I noticed that the first time you run it, you get something good out of it. The second time you run it, it's... It's, it's as though it's, uh, it's trying to choose different things and therefore it's not getting the best stuff out of there. See, so we're see. it took that long to get to this point. And I have a feeling that uh, that it didn't take that long to tokenize the, uh, the prompt. And so, I think that it is setting up the model. It's going out to that cache, grabbing the model, loading it into memory again, and then uh, it is uh, feeding in the prompt after this after this line is uh, is given here. And so I think about half the time is spent in setting up the model each time. So that's not very good. So I have to go back in and see if there's a better way to, uh, to do this. In, in an application, uh, this is just a long time to wait. Uh, but if it comes back with very good information, uh, maybe it's worth it. So this stuff here that came out, is the uh, these are the words with the highest probability so that's going to give I'm guessing good information now I ran one before where one of the first things that came out was that uh, uh, Albert Einstein was Jewish and then it went into this crazy uh, 
rigmarole about him converting to Catholicism, which is nutty and false. Uh, at least as far as I know, it's nutty and false. Uh, so, based on the, the words that pop out at the beginning, uh, you may get crazier stuff. And I have a feeling that uh, setting a seed is probably a good idea for, for for text generation because I think if we set a seed, we're going to get the most uh, probable stuff every time. We're not going to get different generation each time. But I have to check on that and. Uh, that will be helpful. If I can set it up to do it that way, that will be helpful. So here's the about the Nobel Prize. You see, this is all this is all different information. I don't know if he was born in Grodno. Uh, If this is all correct information, it's pretty good. This is this is useful. This uh, would help anyone do research. Uh, it would come up with information. I don't know how this compares to the Wikipedia article on uh, Albert Einstein, but. Uh, I'm guessing that it's not going to be exactly similar. It's going to put things in different order, and uh, it's going to focus on different kinds of things. So how long did this take? This take, it took 207 seconds. It actually took longer the second time than the first time. So I don't know what's up with that. Uh, maybe it has something to do with memory pressure. I'm running this right now on the uh, on CPUs, so I can do accelerate config and uh, zero. I want to run it on this machine, and this time I'll run it on four, which is the metal, and uh, I just take the default for that and run it again and see what happens here. So we should get faster than 207. I think on metal it takes something like uh, 130 seconds, 120, 130 seconds. So that's pretty good, uh, two minutes for this. And I think that what I want to do is find some uh, faster text generation uh, systems that uh, can be used for less of a deep dive. So, uh, for example, one could say, I have a research question, and that could go to the one or two billion parameter model and then uh, I have a question could go to a smaller model uh, maybe a you know 600 uh, meg model something like that so uh, we'll have to play with this but I think this is amazing that this runs this well on uh, a little Mac mini this is 16 gigabyte memory Mac mini. And uh, I also want to uh, do some comparisons on a, uh, on a Ryzen system. I have a Ryzen desktop with a uh, K80. And I'd like to do some time comparisons on that. Uh, well, we'll just wait for this to come back and then I'll, I'll end the video. Uh, it should come back fairly shortly. See what's going on down here.
So the swap's not getting very large here. That's not bad. And the average power usage is 9, 8.54 watts, peak of 15.19 watts. So this is doing this with a, an amazing low amount of power. here still no word from the ANE I, I think this tool is is broken this as top I don't think it it actually looks at the ANE knowing Apple I wouldn't be surprised if uh, they changed the API uh, but yeah, I really would like to be able to look at the ANE. If anybody knows how to do that, I would appreciate hearing about it in the uh, in the comments. I don't know why this is taking so long. It should have been should have been done by now. Here we go. Uh, it took almost 200 seconds here. I don't understand why it's taking longer than it took the first time when it actually had to load the entire model. So. Uh, yeah, looks like I'm going back to the back to the lab to figure out what I can do here. Back to Hugging Face to uh, look through their documentation. Anyway, I thank you for joining me. I hope you found this interesting, and bye-bye.